Well, I think I got a, an intake gasket leaking on the S10. Um, it's got a coolant leak somewhere. It's leaking on the, the exhaust manifold, I think on the driver's side. You smell the uh, antifreeze burning. It's not coming out of the tailpipe. It's definitely coming out of the, the motor here on the driver's side because I can smell it over here pretty bad. Um, really can't see. There is some liquid down there, but I think it's the I think it's the driver's side that's leaking, and the water pump, which is a fairly new water pump, it's got leakage on it. So I'm gonna have to change that too. There's a ton of stuff on the top of this motor here, so it's going to be uh, an interesting job. Probably take me two, three days probably to do this. So once I get uh, Dad's Camaro away from the hoist, I'll get this this on there, and uh, maybe when I raise it up, I'll be able to see exactly where it's coming from. Well, I got it up in the air, but it's pretty hard to see what's going on up in there. It's got a pretty good oil leak. Uh, hopefully that ain't the rear main seal leaking. Um, it looks like there's all kinds of stuff leaking up top. And I'm hoping it's coming from... Uh, Hope it's coming from the intake. I see, I see wetness up there, coming from the intake, back of the intake. So I'll start taking some stuff off. Maybe I'll be able to see it better. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the battery. Okay, next I'm going to take the air cleaner off. You got four bolts here. Spin off. Make sure they're all off. You got unplug, plug these sensors here. Take your Harness off there. Got a bolt here. Got a hose here. Use that harness, you gotta unclip here. And this comes out. Now go ahead and just remove this hole. Air cleaner.
Okay, now I'm going to remove this fan shroud. <clears throat> Again, I'm doing that because I am uh, going to change the water pump too. I probably ain't got to do this to do with the intake. There's three bolts up here, 10 millimeter socket, and then there's two under here, two under there. Uh, this truck's got a body lift on it. So there are spacers and I think the guy used standard bolts instead of metric ones. So you'll have to use whatever whatever bolts you have, you'll have to find the right size. Okay, shroud should come off. Do I unplug this vent tube there? Well, I'm trying to get this fan off. Um, it's, it's a 36 millimeter is the nut there. And I, I can't get it to come off. I got the belt on still. And I thought that would be enough to hold it. To uh, pop it off, but it's not. And I honestly don't know which direction you're supposed to loosen it. If it's a reverse thread because it's a fan or what. I got a Chilton manual and of course they just all it says is hold the pulley and loosen loosen the fan off there. Well that's easier said than done. Um, I guess I'm going to try to hold. I'm going to try to put a screwdriver here between the bolts and hold it stationary and try to pop it off. I'm going to try to just go the standard uh, rotation to take it off, see if that gets it. Okay, I've been struggling with this fan for a little while. Um, <clears throat> what I ended up doing was I took my long screwdriver, super long screwdriver, and I stuck it between the, the bolts there I kind of jammed it and I used the fender to hold it and then I turned it with the wrench everything I had and she finally come you see it spinning off the water pump uh, it is a standard um, rotation so it comes off it loosens uh, the normal way that a nut loosen so it's not a reverse rotation so I'm gonna put the camera down and get this off so I don't run that fan into my radiator carefully take it out here okay there's a zip tie holding this lower shroud on again this is a little different because this truck has a has a body left. So things are kind of rigged up a little bit. A factory truck will have, uh, I believe it sits, these little slots slid it in the bottom. They clip on and hold that on. Okay, you got a half inch breaker bar. With a 3 8 adapter, I'm going to uh, pull 
pull the belt off. Just turn, just rotate that tensioner and uh, she comes off. Good time to check the belt, make sure it's in good condition. Okay, now I'm going to start draining the, the fluid on the radiator. I'm going to take off the cap. Then I'm going to open up this one right here. Just gonna turn it. Okay, you got a pair of pliers, just gonna turn this. And you should hear it drain out. Okay, while that's draining, coolant, I'm going to uh, take off the throttle cables. Um, got a bolt there, not there. You've got a uh, nut there, and a nut there. And then, This bracket comes off here. And I've got to take this off. <coughs> then this will come off. And then I'm going to uh, pop the cables off here. Can't do it with one hand, but you got to turn this. And it loosens them up and it pops them off. Okay, in order to get this throttle cable swung up out of the way, I had to disconnect this uh, vacuum hose right here and it broke. Um, it connects right down there. I'll have to put a new one on. Okay, now I should be able to swing this throttle cable and brackets out of the way enough to be out of the way. Okay, another thing I had to do to get the throttle cable out of the way was unplug this plug from the AC compressor there. Um, next I'm going to pull this off that went to the air cleaner. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the Brake booster, vacuum line there. Okay, I'm gonna pull the throttle body off now. There's two 10 millimeter bolts. I guess they would be studs. Uh, then you got a star or an inverted torx there. You got two sensors you gotta unplug from it right here and here, and she comes off. Okay, I wanted to give you a close-up on this throttle body to show you how to unhook the throttle. Um, this one here just has a plastic clip. It's pretty easy. You just pop, just pop it off and it sits on this slot here. Um, this other, the actual throttle cable, I believe this is the cruise control. The, the, the throttle cable, um, you're going to have to, when it's on the engine, you're going to have to open it all the way up and you got to bring the throttle cable up to this notch, there's a, there's a little notch here. You bring it up to the notch and then it comes out. That's how you're going to unhook that. Just wanted to give you a close up on that. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, AC compressor off. Uh, there's four bolts. 
13 millimeter. This one right here, I couldn't use a socket. I had to use a just an open end wrench to get it off. Twist this over here, set it over here for now. Okay, on the air conditioner compressor, there's two plugs. Uh, I showed you this one, but there's one in the back there too. It's got to be unplugged. Um, next thing I'm going to do is uh, probably unbolt this uh, compressor mount. And it looks like the power steering pump is actually bolted to the aluminum bracket too. So. Okay, I got this uh, AC bracket loose. Um, you can see down there, there's a stud. Right there that it slides into, down at the bottom. Um, I didn't have to loosen that bolt up, or that nut. It was just, it's just in that slot there, I guess, just for support. Okay, there's three bolts holding this AC compressor and uh, power steering pump bracket on. There's three bolts. Um, bolt here, bolt here. This is actually a stud here and it's got this nut on it. And there is one more bolt that goes right there on that one. And there's one more that you can't see. It's kind of a hidden one. It's a stud. This nut goes on it. And you can just barely see it. It goes right on that little thing right right there. You really I can't even show it to you. That's all I'm, you're gonna be able to see. You gotta reach down there and uh, unbolt it, otherwise this won't come out. Once you get all the bolts out, it allows you to slide this bracket ahead. So you can get to this front intake bolt and it's also going to allow me to get the, the valve covers off so I can uh, change the gasket on them. So I guess that's it. Uh, this will be uh, part one of this uh, intake gasket replacement on this S10.